Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial of SiteGround. My name is Mauricio and today I will help you with the error HTTP 403, forbidden error. Let's begin. An HTTP 403 forbidden error code is shown when your server permissions don't allow you to access a specific page, folder or file of your website. There are three possible reasons for this error. It can be the result of incorrect files or folder permissions in your server, also due to a corrupt or wrong rules in the HD access file, or it can be caused by a conflicting plugin that is affecting the whole website. Let's check how to resolve each one of them, but before that, remember this important recommendation. Do a full backup of all your files. Before applying any changes to your website, we recommend you to make a backup of all your files and databases using our backup tool, Inside Tools. To do that, I recommend you to watch our full video called How to manage my backups in SiteGround Site Tools that you can find clicking in the upper right corner of this video or find the link in the description below. Restore folder permissions. In order to restore your folder permissions, go to the site tools of your account and then click the install and manage link that is in the WordPress menu. Once the page is loaded, go to the manage installations area and click the three points of the WordPress you want to reconfigure. Then click reset permissions and everything should be working fine again. Regenerate the HD access file. Another possible solution is to check for wrong rules in the HD access file. To do that, we will overwrite this file with the WordPress basic rules, but keep in mind that any custom options added manually or by any plugin will be lost. So I recommend you to do a full backup or make a copy of this simple file. Now, let's continue with the rest of the steps. Go to the site tools of your SiteGround account and click the file manager link in the site menu. After the files are loaded, Go to the root of your WordPress installation and edit the file htaccess. If the file doesn't exist, you will have to create it clicking the new file button. In both cases, we will edit its content based in the code of this WordPress article, which has the basic rules for this file. Once you pasted the code, save the changes and try again to refresh your website to check that the problem is solved. Search for conflicting plugins. First of all, we need to check if this problem is caused by any plugin. To do so, we need to deactivate them one by one until we find the problematic one. There are four ways to deactivate plugins. Through the WordPress admin area, editing the database, using WPCLI, or renaming folder but as a last resort. Since each one of them has its own steps, I recommend you to watch our video How to Deactivate Plugin where I explain with further details all the procedure. Once you find the conflicting plugin, deactivate it. Try to replace it with another one with the same functionality or try to get in contact with the developer in order to solve the problem. Contact a developer. If you find that these solutions are hard to implement, we recommend you to contact a developer or an agency who can help you to solve the problem. Take a look at our SiteGround partners offering WordPress development services. They can help you with this and many other web-related problems. I leave the link to this page in the description of the video. I hope this video helped you to solve the problem. If so, consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about our tools and much more content we have prepared for you. Thank you and good luck.